great. Uh. <laughs> Hi, my name is Justice, and I'm eight years old. My favorite artist is Beyonce, and you're watching A Connection TV. Crazy man, shit your mouth, shit your mouth, shit, shit your mouth. What's going on, world? This past weekend was Gay Pride Weekend in New York, baby, and a lot of parties went down. A lot of things happened. The parade was hot, and. There was a lot going on. Now, I started off my weekend with going to uh, a couple uh, Pride events by uh, Bryce Scipio and BK Ken. I really don't go out a lot. So to do the Pride events and the club events and all of that was um, a bit extra for me. But suffice it to say, I really wanted to see what is out there. I wanted to enjoy what uh, the promoters and the presenters and everyone they give to us uh, the ability to be able to relish in the love and the unity of the gay population is just an amazing thing so I definitely was willing to go out and have a good time so Bryce Scipio, BK Candy really did their thing this particular weekend now I didn't I didn't really um, go to um, the major traditional events um, for the majority, but um, Black Gay Pride in New York was really on and popping. So, but I really wanted to do this video to give a little shout out to Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga has been a, a pro force for the gay movement all around the globe. And she came back to New York, her home of homes, and really gave her voice um, to the gay population and in celebration of equality becoming strengthened and just the ability to live freely, you know? And I, for one, have been a, a huge supporter of Lady Gaga because she just paved the way for a lot of different things and just experienced just expression, you know, expression alone. She's like this generation's Madonna, if you will, you know, um, because we have people like Elton John, Madonna, uh, just people that were just trendsetters, Prince, in his own right, you know what I'm saying? So Lady Gaga came back and gave her first stage performance since her hip surgery last year, and she completely tore down the podium, tore down the stage, and she sang the national anthem. And during her, her rendition of the national anthem, she changed um, a couple of the words to the song and said at the end, for the home of the gay. And I think that was profound and it was exciting to hear. Lady Gaga, you sang the national anthem flawlessly flawlessly, with no one even having to dare think that there was anything going on with your voice. You were flawless. And it was nice to hear Lady Gaga go in the way that she did, holding up the rainbow flag and just showing her love for everyone and the fact that everyone just needs to be created equal. We were all created equal and that everyone needs to be equal. Okay, so shout out to all of the promoters that did an amazing job with all of the parties. Hammerstein Ballroom was on and cracking lacking, hosted by Wendy Williams and Don Rashad. Shout out to once again Bryce Scipio and BK Ken and Lady Gaga coming back to New York. That was amazing. I went to Copacabana yesterday, that was my first time going to Copa, and that was an awesome, awesome time. Like the party life in New York 
is what you want it to be. You have a lot of options and it was crazy having to figure out what do I want to do from the barbecue parties in Brooklyn to the Harlem Pride Park uh, uh, gatherings to just the white parties going on. There was straight, there were gay white parties going on. There was a lot happening in New York this past weekend. And I am just thankful that Everyone that I've met this weekend were so kind and generous with their words with in regards to what I try to do on YouTube. And my mission has always been to adopt similar connections despite our differences. I do comedy on here, I do slapstick comedy on here, and I just crack jokes. But beyond that, it's about adopting similar connections despite our differences. I let you guys see my life so that we can kind of ride through that highway together. Not bearing off of exit 13 and exit 25, but riding that highway together to the end. And the end is to see a better world where we can all coexist without fear of having to walk down any street. You know, um, I, I, would love, I would love for the world to be like Purge without that one day, okay? Without that one day of selflessness. I, I want, I want us to be able to go through the world every day without crying, you know? But, hey, I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, the network. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Please subscribe, retweet, share this video. It's all about love and progression in my day and age. And I'm only getting older, not getting any younger. And I just want us all to be happy and to enjoy and to be positive and to love, okay? Stay blessed from Wes. Later.